Good morning, everybody. It's the Soap Man. It is tomorrow. It's been 17 hours later. This is my first attempt at the tall and skinny shimmy. Uh, so far, it looks good. My recipe always sets up within 10 to 12 hours. It's been 17, so it's definitely ready to cut. Uh, this is going to be brand new to me, too. Uh, I experimented making some of my own colors, and it looks as though they turned out well. I've never made a purple. When I tried the purple, it looked rather blue in the oil, but once I got it in the soap batter, it looked purple, and now that it's uh, saponified, it still looks nice and purple. Let's give it a shot and see what it looks like. I can see it through the mold and tell I like it already. I always cut a real thin slice off the end and I keep that one for myself. That's the one I use on myself when I test it just to make sure that it's safe to use. Let's maybe just get some of this off the top. And even these little slithers like this won't go to waste. I have a big bucket where I have, when I have soap that I have waste like this, I have soap that gets too small to use, I take a cheese grater and grind it down and keep it all together and I use that in the laundry. So even these little slithers like this I'm cutting off the top, even they will go to waste. Just scooped into the side for now. Alright, here is the moment of truth. Actually, the We'll really know once we get in the center. This is going to be the thin one I keep for myself. Can you see us? Yes, you can. Oh, I love it. I love it. Even the end piece. Love it. Very nice. I love it. I'm not quite sure why the red didn't do what it was supposed to. See how they're kind of sort of like blobbed together and the yellow and the orange didn't really do that, but that's all right. This was an experiment. Now the red just went all the way across the bottom. Well, it's not supposed to do that, but that's okay. I still love this. This was my first attempt at this, and this is absolutely one to repeat. And my recipe has a tri uh, tried and true recipe has a heavy presence of coconut oil. And the recipe only calls for a 5% super fat, but this, in addition, because of the five colors, this has five tablespoons of oil added to it. And even so, uh, it always sets up nice and firm. It's easy to cut quickly, so the recipe always behaves very well, whether I want a thin batter or a thick batter. I'm really pleased with it. And all in all, the soap itself is great. Makes a fantastic leather. I even wash my hair with this. I don't make any special adaptions to make a shampoo bar. I just use this same exact bar, wash my hair with it. And then, like I say, when it's too small, the pieces that are too small to hold into the shower, I shave them down and use those as laundry soap. So this is just really, overall, a very good soap.
I, I, I love this. I hope you can see that. I hope it doesn't have too much of a glare on it. I wish the bottom layers hadn't done that. I'm still not quite sure what happened. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. This is absolutely one to repeat. Are we still in view here? I don't want to lose you all. Yeah, we can see. Also really pleased at how the purple turned out. I've never made a purple color before, never really found one that I like, but it's pretty simple. I just took, um, actually it's blue. I found it on Amazon. I think it's called, the, the brand is Slice of the Moon. It's called Blue, Mar blue Sparkle Mic, I believe it is. And I mixed a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon, no, excuse me, a half teaspoon of that and a half teaspoon of Brambleberry's Tangerine Wow and a tablespoon of grapeseed oil. And it still looked awfully blue in the oil, so I put a little bit, about another maybe eighth of a teaspoon of the Tangerine Wow. did not seem to change it. It still looked very, very blue when it was in the oil, but when I mix it in the soap batter, it instantly turned purple, and it survived the saponification. It's still a very nice purple. And the red, I just wanted to try and see what it was like, because I do like castor oil in this. The red mica I mixed with castor oil, which is, of course is very, very thick, and that one thickened up faster than any of them. I poured the red first. I hadn't intended to pour it first. I poured the red first because it really got thick on me, so I really don't know why. Because it was so thick, why it ran across the bottom like that and didn't hold its shape. But, like I say, I'm not going to worry about it. Because overall, I'm real pleased with this.
So, to the creator of the tall and skinny shimmy, thank you for giving your design to the world. Um, if you see this, I hope I did your design justice. I'm very, very pleased with it. I love the, the, the distinct difference. Um, just really pleased with it, and thank you for this. And I will see you all next Saturday. Have a nice week.